Hi, I'm Ron Zernicki, VA3RRZ. Well, today's the day. I'm climbing up my 64-foot DMX tower to install my mesh node. So the first thing I'll be doing is uh, installing two antennas, 124 dBi parabolic grill and a 12 dBi omnidirectional antenna. So we're going to be heading way up there. and getting that done. So, see you at the top. <clears throat> Gotta find the spot for my bracket. Uh, it's getting a little tight up here. Uh, all right. I think because that's a 900 right over here, heading up that way. Uh, yeah. Let's get. First, let's get the safety on. Hopefully you are seeing all this. Uh, I can go here and uh, yeah, this is the box for 900. Um, now if I go. Now normally if it like mine is 10 or below, I'll use my thinner gloves that you saw at the bottom, the yellow and black ones, just to keep my fingers warm. Um, I just didn't bother bringing them up right now, I didn't feel like carrying two pair of gloves. So I'm lazy. Well actually I'm not, but 
just trying to make available space in my bag. Uh, yeah. Now the water tower that I want to connect to is in a town called Alfred and it's pretty much in that direction there. So I'm not quite sure if I have line of sight. Uh, we're going to have to check the maps a lot closer. If I don't, well, we'll just put up a, a node before the water tower and uh, get that all connected. I think right now I found about 10 routers, the Linksys uh, WRT54Gs, various models. I have uh, the GLs, I have a, I think one or two GSs, and most of them are the G models. So, um, let's see. Nope. Yep, let's see how it fit. Nope, I actually need my wrench. Where my wrench? Half an inch. All right, we're in business. Yeah, anyways. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just getting ready to go on vacation there. I'm going to be heading uh, down to Bahamas, do some sailing for a couple of weeks with my wife and uh, a couple friends who are also hams. Uh, by the way, my wife's a ham too. So uh, we're pretty much all hams out in this area. Uh, it's mostly so we can just give back to the community. I'm not one much of a contester per se, so I like getting uh, towers up, getting stations up and running for hams. And I like working on the digital side, so Packet was where I started out, and uh, worked my way up now to this mesh, which uh, I just read on the uh, BBHN website that the firmware for the Ubiquiti routers are going to be out soon, I think Feb 1st, so I'm anxious for that. Cause that's going to open up a lot of doors, especially in, uh, in a way of bandwidth. So, because right now we're kind of stuck with the 2.4 gig routers, and I mean, the throughput's not bad, you know, depending on what you're going to do. Um, okay, that's one. Where's number two going? Uh, I think what I'm going to do is bring this down a bit. That's uh, 716. 716, Mr. 716. Okay. You'll notice I talk to myself a lot, and that's because um, it's pretty boring up here all by myself. So I figured, well, if I talk, someone might hear me. At least the birds will. That's what I enjoy the most, especially in summer, is when I'm up in the lower Laurentians there. We have a couple of towers, commercial towers up there for the local internet provider. And uh, so I'll usually go up. And what I like the most is when I see the hawks flying around you know, a couple of feet from my head. It's really interesting. Okay, let's see. That, that's loose. <sighs> now, I haven't been up here since, uh, whew, I think this summer, so I wasn't quite sure what was up here, and I didn't have my cam, head cam at that time, so I wasn't able to videotape anything. There's my friendly cows next door. 
Uh, we got a beef uh, grower here, and that barn over there is a dairy farmer. So I think in my first video I said that I lived in Lorignal, and Lorignal, as you can see, is uh, pretty much a farming community. Okay, let's get this baby in there. Uh, you can't really see it, but that's my 2,000 square foot uh, garden. Um, I'm a gardener. I love growing vegetables and stuff like that. Yeah, I should. Well, I just need to get this around somehow. Okay. Looks like we might be in business. More. Yeah, I'm planning to put up another tower uh, just next to my shed down there because this one's a little crowded. This is mostly uh, VHS stuff. At the top I got a diamond. Uh, I think it's the next 510. I don't remember the model number. That's a... I think it's a tri-bender if I remember. And... Uh, yeah, we got two repeaters out in this area. One at this end, uh, next town over, which is Alfred. And for uh, you hands that are looking for it, it's the uh, VA3 PRA repeater, sponsored by the Prescott Russell Amateur Radio Club, which I'm a member of. And it's also it's being used by the Prescott Russell Amateur Radio Emergency Services, which is sponsored by our club. All right. Um, I want to tighten it a bit. Let's see what we can do with the ratchet. No. Well, we put the ratchet away. Okay, well, here I am at the top. Unfortunately, my head cam, the battery died on me right after lunch, so I came up with this handheld. So this is uh, the bottom standoff that I installed with the mast earlier. And that's the top standoff there. And what I've done after lunch is I installed this omnidirectional. This is a 12 dBi gain omni. And then at the top of the mast here, I have the 24 dBi parabolic. So that's pretty much it. I got two LMR 400s all installed, all sealed up with the weatherproof tape. And now I'm heading down the tire, the tower to start tire wrapping and taping up the coaxes. So we'll see you at the bottom. Okay, so here we are about 20 feet off the bottom of the tower. I've installed my access box over here at this level. So there are the two coaxes coming in and all properly sealed with uh, the rubber tape and then electrical tape on top of that protected from the UV and that's pretty much it so if we look at the top there we go let me see if I can zoom in that's it so I just got to uh, run the cat 5 which is right there it's actually coiled up right over here so just got to run that to the house plug it into uh, the power injector and we're done.